welcome back to my channel today i am back with another awesome recipe for you guys today i'm making this super easy chicken fried rice if you know me you know i love me some fried rice so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make it if you are interested you know what to do keep on watching and if you are new to my channel hey welcome please be sure to subscribe so you can join the family and also if you enjoyed the recipe if it was helpful don't forget to give it a like for me okay don't hesitate you have to press the like button and without further ado let me show you guys how it's done All right guys, here are the ingredients. I have half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, a cup of frozen vegetables, about three sprigs of green onion, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Make sure you use the low sodium one. And I have two eggs here. And also, the rice that I'm using, it's not one day old rice. I cook this rice in the morning, place it in the freezer for about two to three hours, then take it out to make this recipe. So if you don't have one day old rice, you can still make this recipe. And also you will need some oil. You can use sesame seed oil, olive oil, peanut oil, or whatever oil you do have at your house, you can use it. And also you will need two chicken thighs. I'm using the bone and chicken thighs. You can also use breast for this recipe as well. First thing I'm going to be doing is cut my chicken into small bite size. Once I am done cutting my chicken, this is what I have, about 10 ounces of chicken. I'm going to season the chicken very lightly. I'm using a little bit of ground black pepper and also I'm using half of that chicken bouillon, just pour it on there and mix it together. Now, if you do want some color on this chicken, you can add some paprika. Just because I want to keep the recipe as authentic as possible, so I try not to add the paprika. Of course, you can do it at your house. It's your food, do what you want with it. You can add some paprika if you want. Now, once we're done seasoning the chicken, we're going to set it aside, moving on to the egg. I'm just prepping everything before I start cooking. Now, once I'm done cracking my egg, I like to remove that white part of the egg. I don't know, it's just something that I like to do. And once I am done, I am going to whisk the egg until it's nice and mixed together because we want the egg to be nice and fluffy in the right. Before I continue with the recipe, I would like to give a big shout out to every one of you guys who joined the channel membership. You guys are the real MVP. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if you want to join, all you have to do is basically join. The join button is by the subscribe button. You will see all the perks and all the good stuff we have to offer to members only. So please, Check it out, see if you might be interested. All right, let's continue. Y'all can see in this skillet here, I added a little bit of olive oil. Then I am going to cook my chicken. You wanna cook the chicken until it's nice and golden brown. Like I said, if you wanna add smoked paprika, hey, be my guest. Add your little smoked paprika so you can give it some color. But regardless, this chicken right here is delicious and it has such a pretty color y'all can see that too okay
once the chicken is done what we're going to do is just remove it set it aside we're going to be cooking the egg now the egg going to be cooking in this nice crustification right there y'all see all the seasoning from the chicken no don't cook your eggs separate you can just cook it right in there all the flavor will just melt and blend in okay now one thing you have to keep in mind don't overcook this egg okay Once your egg is done cooking, it's nice and scrambled really good. You're going to set it aside. We're going to move on to the veggies. As y'all can see, I keep adding oil. That's one thing about making fried rice. It takes a lot of oil, okay? One thing I try not to do is just add all the oil all at once because I don't want it to be too greasy but I don't want it to be too dry. So as I'm removing the ingredients, the chicken, I'm adding a little bit more to cook the veggies, as you guys can see, I'm doing right now. So I'm using frozen vegetables. You can cut yours up if you have them fresh. Be my guest, use them. Now I'm going to add my garlic right there and cook it until it's nice and golden brown honey you want a nice garlicky flavor in this recipe me personally i love the flavor of garlic so we're going to cook that until it's nice and golden brown next what we're going to be doing is add our rice now like i said i'm using i'm using I cook this rice in the same day as I'm cooking this fried rice, okay? I have a detailed recipe on how to do it. I will leave it on the card as well. And also the rice I'm using is jasmine rice, okay? Now I'm going to be adding the egg and the chicken in there. In the other half of the seasoning that I had, I'm going to sprinkle it on top. The chicken bouillon, not a lot, just a little bit I had left from the chicken after I was done seasoning the chicken. So I'm going to add that in. Also, I'm adding my green onion. I didn't have that much green onion. I could have used more. But now we're going to be mixing everything together just like that. This, your stove should be on medium low at this point to just, you know, mix everything together. Now is the perfect time to add our soy sauce. When you're adding the soy sauce, do not just directly add it in the middle of the pot. Just add it around it because as soon as you just dump it in there, all the smoke, the flavor is going to evaporate. We don't want that. So just add it around the pot, then stir it in just like that. Look how beautiful the color is just so pretty and so amazingly 
beautiful just take a look at this once you mix everything together and you are done at this point you're going to plate it add some more green onion on top and also i added some sesame seed just to give it a nice look and basically this is how you make some chicken fried rice i hope you guys enjoy this recipe i hope you guys actually try this because this right here is bomb. I love me some fried rice. When I say this, just believe it. This right here is a hit. You gotta try it. Let me know if you're going to try it in the comment section. Also, if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe today because we eat good here all day, every day. And of course, give this video a big fat thumbs up for me if you enjoy it. I will see you all on my next recipe. Bye.